Hey guys, this is Mark, sitting out in the backyard. Uh, this is a message to autistic husbands, uh, trying to help you make sense of Cassandra syndrome. Uh, you have probably been told by your auntie wife, <clears throat> I have Cassandra syndrome. And she has probably tried to help you feel guilty. Oops, I'm sorry, auntie wives. Was that offensive? She has said, I have Cassandra syndrome. And you have thought, what the fuck is that? So let me help you make sense of it. I'm not trying to be sarcastic of her. <clears throat> Cassandra syn syndrome is technically not in the Diagnostic and Statistic Manual of Mental Disorders. But it's a thing. It's a real thing. And has she used the victim card? Yes, she has. But is she still hurt? Yes. Is she making this stuff up? No. Is she exagger exaggerating her hurt? Uh, sometimes, probably. Most of the time, no. So I'm going to offend everybody here. The NT wives and the SD husbands. If I haven't offended you yet, just stay tuned. It's going to happen. So, is she, is she uh, feeling sorry for herself at some level? Yes. Is it true uh, trauma at some level? Yes. Are you kind of a victim too because you have autism? She goes, well, I didn't sign up for this marriage. You didn't sign up for autism. So at some level, are you a victim too? Yes. At some level, are you an asshole? Yes. Sorry, I told you I'd piss you off at some point. Let's make it real. She probably makes it bigger than it is, but it's still a thing. You probably think you're more innocent than you are, but at some level, your traits of ASD level one uh, contribute to your behavior such that she would download your behavior as being cold, incessive, uncaring, selfish, narcissistic. Cassandra syndrome, real thing. Real thing. The traits of ASD that uh, result in your significant other, in this case, the drone typical wife, downloading your behavior in the wrong way? Yes. It's a two-way street. Nobody's doing anything wrong. She's hurt. Her heart hurts. She feels like I'm not getting my needs met. That's a real thing. You're thinking, doesn't matter what I say or do, it's never good enough. I can never make her happy. I've tried. I'm always a failure with her. That's a real thing. It's a real thing. So I just want to let you know, this is a message to the ASD husbands regarding Cassandra syndrome, in case you've lost track of where we're going here. Uh, Cassandra syndrome is basically just <clears throat> the perception and the, in this case, the NTY spine, that she is not getting her emotional needs met. We call that emotional deprivation. Now, she has to have her emotional needs met because she is an emotional creature by nature, and men are too, of course, but her especially. She was wired. Her brain was designed to be nurturing, caring, loving, and receive emotional uh, reciprocation, empathy, uh, connection, affection. And when she doesn't get that, and that's a primary need for her, in the same way that water, food, shelter is a primary need. This need for love and connection, love and connection in your NT wife, this is not just a, a nice thing that happens if it happens. No, it's a primary need. Water, food, shelter, love and connection. It's right up there. And when she doesn't get it, she hurts. That's the way God designed her. And when she doesn't get it, she gets into fight or flight mode. In other words, I'm dying here. I'm dying here. One of my 
survival needs is not getting met. And so that's why she kind of get bitchy, moany and groany and complainy. Wouldn't you? If you were expecting regular water from somebody that was supposed to regularly give you water and they didn't show up time and time and time again and now you're dehydrated and getting thirsty, wouldn't you complain? Where's my water? I signed up for a program where you would deliver water to me and I would give you something in return. You're not delivering. What does your wife give you in return? Love, connection, empathy, moral support, compassion, grace, mercy, children, helpmate, soulmate. Long way around the bush, guys. To get to the point that Cassandra syndrome, it's not a disorder per se, but it is a syndrome. And she's not purposely trying to be nagging and whatever. One of her primary needs is not getting met. And until you can figure out a way to meet this primary need of emotional reciprocity, you will continue to be in the doghouse. I'll take bets. I can promise that's going to happen. <laughs>